and welcome to your gold market update for today the 4th of may 2022 with me mike smith senior analyst for gold markets and let's have a look at what's coming across the news today of course overnight we had another whipsaw session but all indices again managed to close higher as markets await the fed and their interest rate decision and of course further earnings throughout the week us futures are slightly positive in early trading and asian markets are very mixed the ASX is a strange place to be today. It was up fairly significantly on open, but we're seeing it drop back down to neutral well off its earlier highs. And the US dollar index is pausing around that four year high that we've been talking about all week, retesting that short term resistance. Gold is managing just about to hold over that 200 EMA support above the 1850 level, trading around about 1865 as we record this. Alls also paused around $105 a barrel on the Brent contract. And the VIX has dropped with that equity market slight strength to a keep the technical level at 28. Keep an eye on that as the interest rate decision comes closer tonight. Cryptos aren't a particularly good place to be as they haven't been for some time. We've referenced earlier as well. Still stuck in a short term range around about 38,000 at this stage. Obviously, the Fed's in focus, but on top of that, we've got a plethora of earnings coming out of the US. Remember, this is the busiest week for S&P 500 earnings. We've also got the US ADP jobs report, which is often seen as a precursor to what may happen on Friday and the non-farm payrolls number. And we've got global PMI data also due. We had the manufacturing data already this week. This is a services data. And of course, markets will be looking at any data that's coming out to see if the evidence of slower economic growth is continuing. So once again, very significant amount for the market to process over the next 24 hours. Let's have a look at a couple of charts just for right now. Uh, we'll start in the ASX and really very difficult to find anything that's looking rosy. But we did spot Ansel who are in the PPE equipment subsector in healthcare. And you can see that technically we have had a, a very interesting move over the last few days. We had this short term resistance broken last week. And you can see there we're breaking the longer term level of importance at around about that 2747 level. And we've got a big gap to fill here. So this is a very positive candle. We are off the highs of the day as with the rest of the market, but still positive. Still in the top third of the candle, it'll be interesting to see where this closes in the last hour of the day today. Also, of course, worth checking in on the Aussie dollar after yesterday's RBA meeting. If we look at the Aussie yen on this hourly chart, you can see really we've been stuck since that decision in a trading range between 92.21 and 92.58. So really a very tight band considering what has gone on. So we're looking for a close on an hourly candle over this 92.58 to suggest that there's some more upside in this. And if we do get that, then perhaps the next stopping point, the next pause point might be 93 cents. So that's one to keep an eye on on the FX side of things. But at this stage, everything looks as though it's in pause mode to some degree, waiting on the big news that's coming out later. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.